Jordan. Well, this upcoming Monday marks three years since the Marshall Fire. It's the most destructive wildfire ever recorded in Colorado, destroying more than a thousand homes in Boulder County. And still three years later, we continue learning more about this devastating disaster. A new study reveals just how bad the pollution was in the aftermath. Denver 7's Ethan Carlson spoke with one of the researchers who says a study like this has never been done before. It's been nearly three years since the Marshall Fire devastated over a thousand homes, and we're still learning about its impacts. Other fires like in Paradise, in California, uh, like on Hawaii last year, you don't have a university like ours right next to it that can study what happened. Yost Degau is a chemistry professor at CU Boulder, which lies right near the communities affected by the Marshall Fire. In the aftermath, people living in the affected area were worried about their health, and they had questions. I've done air pollution research for over 20 years, and I've measured in some pretty miserable places. And But I've rarely had someone call me up and say, hey, you know, what did you find in my air today? Because I'm so worried. A diverse team of scientists was assembled to launch a research study analyzing smoke and ash damaged homes. Within 10 days of the fire, Professor Degau's team was inside of a home in Superior. For five weeks, they measured pollutants called volatile organic compounds. In the home where we measured, um, there was a cutting board with a half cut up potato. And, you know, what it shows you is that people just dropped everything and left, right? And for weeks, we were, we were staring at that. We didn't clean up the house or anything. So it's very personal. We had expected that these things would be gone within hours from these homes. But in fact, it took, it took days to weeks, and that was a surprise. And it's something that we still don't quite understand. The homes act like a sponge, soaking up smoke and ash. Over time, the homes slowly but surely release the smoke back inside. After about five weeks, the smoke mostly cleared out, but the researchers found some simple solutions to help out until then. We open windows, and that makes the air inside cleaner, and we also built these uh, do-it-yourself air cleaners that have uh, activated carbon, and they were also very effective at making the air cleaner. While running, these $80 homemade air cleaners helped reduce pollutants by more than 50%. And now Degau is relieved. He's finally getting his research out to the community he's become so attached to. It was a team effort. It was rewarding to, to be able to do this and return something to the community because there's a big need. In Boulder, Ethan Carlson, Denver 7. Now, a companion study was also just released looking into the long term impacts on people living close to the fire. Six months after the fire, 55% of participants said they were still experiencing a fire related health issue.